There are a lot of different ways to cut mortises involving either a lot of drilling and handwork or a benchtop mortising machine that isn't exactly going to be cheap. But if you already own a plunge router like this, consider building a reusable jig that allows you to make mortises fast and easy. Now this jig was designed by fine woodworking contributor Jeff Miller and it basically serves two purposes. One, it holds your workpieces firmly in place and two, this wide bearing surface gives your router's base a safe track to ride on. And by adding a long auxiliary fence to your router and mating it with this channel here and back, you're guaranteed straight cuts. This machine is not going to wander. Now these hold downs really secure your work pieces tightly. And then this T-track allows me to use repositionable stop blocks to help define the start and stop point of my mortise. Now let's take a moment to deconstruct this jig and show you how it's built. Now the beam that your router rides on is three and a half inches square and about 30 inches long. And I actually laminated two pieces of hard maple together for added stability. To build the channel that our router guide's auxiliary fence rides in, I milled up three pieces of stock, all to three quarter inch thick. The rear piece is two and a half inches tall. This small filler strip is an inch and five eighths tall. In addition, I milled up this strip of quarter sawn oak for my guide's auxiliary fence at the same time. That left me with a perfect fit in the channel. This entire assembly is held together with a pair of threaded rods that go into these orange hold down clamps. Then the whole thing is brought together like a sandwich using these nuts on the back side of the jig. Now to drill all three holes in perfect alignment, I just double stick taped all three pieces together and bored the holes all at once at the drill press. Now here's where my design sort of differed from Jeff's original design. He didn't have this T-track here and I thought, well, it might be really useful if you added these here and that allowed me to mount these repositionable stop blocks I mentioned earlier. They make it really easy to define that mortise's start and stop point. Now lastly, I like to add a little bit of good old fashioned paste wax here to the bearing surface as well as inside this channel, basically anything that's rubbing together, that includes the auxiliary fence on the router. And that's gonna make sure that your machine runs smooth and true. So I say we take this thing for a test drive. With the jig secured to my bench top, I begin by clamping the workpiece into place using my hold downs. If you're doing multiple mortises all in the same location, you'll want to clamp a small stop block into place now. Next, set your router guide into place and set the T-track stop blocks that define the mortise's start and stop points. Now the rest is easy. It's one mighty fine mortise.